Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite videos to make which are my brand research. A little bit different. I decided to pick Lovies because I'm always saying I pick up Lovies. It doesn't matter for me if they're going to be my bread and butter or if they're going to be a bolo. I'm going to pick them up and you find them everywhere. The bins are always tons of them there. Yard sales, some at estate sales, but I find them all the time. Now, the thing with Lovies, though, is, you know, I've had somebody ask me which brands would you be on the lookout for, but it's one of those things where you, um, it, it might be one specific Lovey in that brand that's going to be your bolo, and then everything else is, you know, bread and butters and maybe a little bit better. This, I picked a bunch to share with you guys, and it could have been bigger. I tried to stake with $50 and up, and I think I'm gonna do another video that's gonna be like $25 to 50 because there's so many in that um, price range. And a lot of times, I pay a dollar or less for them. Now, if I go to consignment sales, I might pay two or three dollars for them once in a while a little bit more but for the most part they're usually a dollar or less at yard sales so it's definitely one of those things where you pay low and you've got a good opportunity to you know make quite a bit of profit on them so let me explain how I'm going to be doing this this is I try to do my due diligence um, and you can do this also when you're researching something what I do always is I pull up, of course, everything in the solds, and then I do by highest price. And then to check everything, um, I pick something, I go into Terapeak, and usually I'll do like most of the title. That way when I look in Terapeak, I can tell has this item sold multiple times because you know, when somebody's relisting something, if you sell something and they don't pay and you have to relist it, it's going to be the same exact title. So that's one way I check myself. I also go into the feedback of the seller and see if anybody left them positive feedback. You're going to notice in this video, very few people got feedback this time. Very few. And then if it's if I don't see positive feedback, I go back into their store to make sure that it hasn't been relisted. That way, is it actively listed or I'm looking in Terapeak to see if it somehow ended up being relisted and sold again. That's the best I can do as far as checking the accuracy um, of these solds. Now I do use eBay for this. This is strictly eBay and it's only the last 90 days because that's all we're able to see on eBay so you know I like also going into Terapeak and just still scanning all the different brands of things that are selling um, and also in these videos I only search used not new because that's what we're going to be finding at yard sales is the used product so you know it's not fair to try to compare new versus used first i am jelly cat love jelly cat anyway most of them are bread and butters but you know this this is a pineapple jelly cat they're called amusables i don't know if i have found a lovey that's jelly cat i it's not ringing a bell with me this one sold for fifty dollars best offer and I did check, uh, you'll see this on every one of my screens. I may not say it every time, um, but no feedback was left for this seller. Next, Carter's, of course, one of my favorite brands as far as baby lovies. This one is a bunny rabbit pink. It does have satin edges. I have found a lot of the higher dollar um, Loveys have either satin edges or the back is satin. This one sold for best offer of $50 also. Another jelly cat, but this is one of the large 
like floor mats. I always still refer to them as loveys, security blankets, but I tend to put like floor mat also because they're 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 quite long. This one sold for fifty dollars. Fisher Price, of course, Fisher Price. Now there, there's going to be more Fisher Price on here, but this is the Teddy Betty, Betty Teddy Teddy Betty bear. That one just kind of threw me for a second. It says Sleepy Time Bear Teddy 1985. I'm pretty sure I've had this before. I always I'm on the lookout also for that teddy bear plush and if I ever find it again I've sold it several times. I'm gonna put it up on my wall for a little bit but it too sold for $50.00. Now this, I've never seen this brand before. Shishu. Baby Shishu Satin Boy Blanket. It's 15 by 15. When I um, did the search on this, it kept trying to throw up a bunch of um, baby blankets also. So I tried to scan, you know, keep them out of this. Um, but since this one's 15 by 15, it is a lovey. It says it has a bamboo trim. I would think this would catch my attention just because it looks so different. Um, but make sure you look for this Shishu Baby. It sold for $50 also. I call this Aiden and Anae, Aiden and Anai, but I have no clue. I find this quite often. Most of these are made of like muslin, muslin linen type as you can tell on here. Um, not all loveys have the animals attached to it. Um, a lot of them are these flats. I think I've showed one recently that I found that was um, like blankets and beyond. Um, I think it too had satin edging. This one sold for $50. This buyer did get positive feedback, um, but it was negative positive feedback. This, this brand is called Vitamins. I used to find these all the time and they were bread and butter, eight to $12. But of course there are exceptions. This one is a giraffe. Now they're like eight inches tall and they're triangular shaped almost always. And then they have their like feet tied off. I see them still quite often, but most again are still bread and butter, but definitely be looking out for this giraffe. It sold for $54.90. Another jelly cat, just different ones. This one is the Bashful Blue Elephant. It sold for $50 and the seller did get positive feedback. I've not heard of this brand before. It was called Smart Sense Duck Yellow Lovey. It sold for $55. I have a feeling this little heart here is probably a squeaker um, just because it looks raised. Um, but yeah, like I said, I pick up all loveys, but I don't remember picking up one of these before, but it's got kind of a cute cartoonish face to the duck. I have, I think somebody sent me a gift box that had one of these in there. I'm pretty sure it has sold. Um, this is a vintage Knickerbocker Snoopy plush. It too has the satin edge. The It sold for $55.99. It's little, very little. And um, the buyer did leave positive feedback on it. Now, Modern Baby, I do find this on occasion. I want to say it's maybe Target or Walmart. Um, but this is cute little elephant with the flower security blanket. It sold for $56.99. Um, no feedback left. This is Barrington Bear. Um, I love that brand. Very, very nice quality. This one was called a Baby Wee Tiggles Turtle. 10 inches. It sold for $59.95. Walgreens. I'm always on the lookout for plush from Walgreens. Their tags look like newer Walmart um, 
and the hug fun they all kind of have this similar tag so just look at it more closely i do very well with raw walgreens now this is an elephant lovey it does have the knotted feet and it does have tags but this is not a taggy brand so don't use the word taggy um it says moon and stars I'm not quite sure where that came from probably on the tag but this sold for $59.99. Mary Meyer, I picked that brand up quite a bit. Um, it's a good brand. It's my normally my bread and butter. I buy a lot of um, animal plush in that brand, but this is a lovey called Boo Boo Moo Moo. There were quite a few of these that were in the solds. This one sold for $59.99. I prefer looking at Terapeak to check my comps, especially when I'm not seeing a whole lot of solds because I can get a better idea of what it's been looking like for the last year. You know, sometimes when it first started selling, it was only selling for $20 and $30. But now that it's getting harder to find, you're seeing prices like this. Baby Gund, Sprinkles, Elephant. Again, this is another one of those larger plush, like floor mats. Um, I like that they put the number in here. Almost a lot of Gund plush has the number in it. It really makes it a whole lot easier to look for them if you include that number in your listing. Um, this one sold for best offer of $60. This is another gun. I've picked these up before. They're called Satiny Snugs. This one was a pink cat. They're 12 inch squared. This one sold for $65. I think there were a few others that were also in the Terra Peak solds. Um, again, no feedback was left. Winnie the Pooh. Gotta have some Winnie the Pooh. I love Pooh. Yes, sometimes it can be long tail, but I don't keep a whole lot of them. In fact, I only have like two totes that I store all my poo in, and it never gets totally full. So it, it is something that people like to do their nurseries in. This is just a cute little, little lovey. Um, it sold for $65, and positive feedback was left. I love poo. This is Pickles Journey. I've never heard of that brand. This is why I like doing these researches. With Lovies, I'm going to pick them up no matter what. But for those people who aren't wanting to buy even the bread and butter ones, you know, become familiarized with some of these brands. But again, always check the comps. This was a pink pig. Again, it looks like it has the satin edging. It sold for $60 and... Um, positive feedback was left. Here was a different poo lovey. This one was called um, Moon Dream. Look how it's kind of almost like quilted here on the head and everything. This one sold for $67.15. There was another one that looked like these blanket loveys, um, but it was solid and I it was in blue and in pink. They also did um, sell for decent amounts, but not like this. Gymboree. I buy almost all plush that are Gymboree because they're becoming harder and harder to find. I remember shopping at Gymboree stuff, but I don't know. I don't ever go to the mall anymore. Are they even still open? I don't know. I don't have a reason to go into a Gymboree anyway, but this was a cute little penguin plush it sold for $67.47. I even like picking up like Old Navy plush because I think they're seasonal and once they're done with that season, then, it, you know, it's not brought out again. Now this is Parents Magazine. I want to say maybe that's Target. I don't remember. But look how cute this is. It's almost like a little clown lovey. But it's got, you know clouds and sun on there. It sold for $67.49. Again, look at the cute knotted feet. If it's knotted, definitely check. 
another Carter's. This is um, a blue bear, and on there it says, Joy is my first hug. It sold for $69.95. I find lots of Minnie Mouse and Pooh and Mickey Mouse lovies, um, but this is the one to be looking out for. And I don't, it just kind of has these mute, to me it looks like the, maybe the mouse is kind of gray, dark grayish, but I saw several of these had sold. Um, kind of quilted here. I'm thinking that some type, I don't know if that's a satin edge, but it could be more like of a polyester or nylon type thing around the edge. It sold for $69.95. Ralph Lauren, this is a gray elephant plush, 11 inches, so kind of small for a lovey. It sold for $69.99. Cloud Island, I love that brand. It's nice quality. I think you can get them in Target and Walmart and probably other stores, but I think that's where I've seen it. This, I've had something similar to this. I do not believe it was the raccoon, but it's obviously a star-shaped um, lovey with knotted ends. It sold for $74.99. Scentsy. I don't think I've had a Scentsy Lovey either. This is Scentsy Buddy Blanky Rabbit in brown with the satiny edges. Again, $74.99. Walgreens. This is a brown monkey plush. Just kind of plain looking, but cute. I see these kind of a lot. I'm going to have to really pay attention. Make sure definitely check for Walgreens. This one sold for $76. Nat and Jules, this, again, this is one of the floor mats. It's 25 inches. Nat and Jules is also Dimdaco. This giraffe sold for $79.99. I tried to pick a large variety of brands, but of course I had to share Jelly Cat a couple times. They're different different. This is Babies Are Us. I always look for them. Um, this is a robot, so that would have definitely stuck out to me. $79.99. Very, very cool. This again, this is one of the Aiden and Anai puppy lovies. Again, this is linen. It's very thin, light. Um, Sold for $79.99. I saw quite a few of them in this price range, um, but I tried to just pick a couple to share with you. Definitely, if you see Lovies by Aiden and Anai, check the comps. This is Steven Baby. I pick up a lot of plush in that brand, but I don't think I've ever seen a um, Lovey. I think in the box that I sold to Bolo Buddies in the um, hall sale lot that I did for her. It had a Steven, St Steven Baby in there. Stefan or Steven Baby. I always call it Steven. This one is 24 inches long, so kind of long. They have these long blanket type bodies. This one sold for $89.99. This is Baby Gear. I love that brand. I always pick them up thinking they're going to be a big old bolo, and sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. This one is a cow. It says, love you till the cows come home. It sold for $89.99. I think they even have, like, baby gear lovies that are without the, the animal attached, just squares. This is Gund Baby kitten. Lots of keywords here. Kitty cat security blanket. Again, I didn't realize this is one of the satiny snugs. Um, the pink cat. Definitely be looking for it. It sold for $94.99. Dakin Angel Bear Lovey. Again, it's one of, it's kind of a long plush. 
I have found these before, but mine was never this high dollar one. This one sold for $106.25. There were quite a few of these also listed new in the box that sold probably a little bit more than this, but there's lots in this um, design that are in different colors, bears, and I think a few different animals. The thing I remember with these, it's got like a silky little or satiny design here on the chest, but if they're washed, there's lots. It's like a, almost a fleece and they get lots of fuzzballs on them. This is Magic Years. I've never seen this brand before. It kind of, to me, looks like Carter's. But this is an I Love Mommy Rabbit plush. There were others in this brand that sold for way less. But this was the only one that I... This one was the only one I saw that had these green satin ears. So maybe that has something to do with it. The whole underside seems to be satin also. It sold for $117. Two more. Vera Bradley. I have sold some of these loveys before, but it was like a, a white rabbit. Um, but it has this edging always goes with one of their designs. Um, this person that I, um, this came from, that's all they sell, it seemed like, was Vera Bradley. So maybe they live near a Vera Bradley store. But this blue rabbit, I did see several of these had sold. This is the highest comp, though and it sold for $129.50. But of course, the best for last. This is Fisher Price. These come in lots of different colors. Um, this one, the yellow with the yellow trim seems to be the hardest one to find. There are ones that were pink and blue. Um, there were a couple of different designs. This one sold for $215.99. But let me tell you a story about this. Many years ago, I found one of these at the flea market for $1. And I was going to do an auction on it. I think it was back when pretty much you auctioned most things. That's how long ago it was. And for some reason, when I did $9.99 auction... It was a buy it now price. And of course, you know, same sad story. It sold immediately, but I honored the sell and went ahead and sent it out. So it sold for the $9.99. And I mean, I still made a profit, but yeah, I got several messages over that day saying, you know, that was worth a whole lot more than that, right? But my mistake we talk about mistakes a lot in my live show. I've had my fair share. So, you know, don't feel bad when it happens to you. You mess up on your shipping. It, it happens, even to somebody who's been selling for 23 years. But again, that was a long time ago. Long time ago. But it sticks with you. You know to check from that point on, especially when you know you're trying to do an auction. It was, it was a different screen back then. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am going to do another one of these. And I'm going to try to get the few that were in the $50 range that I didn't include in this. And then I'm going to get some that are like from $25 and up. Because those, those are the ones I love to find something that I'm going to sell for, you know, $25 or up. And I've only paid, you know, a dollar or 50 cents for it. All right. So I'll get to work, right? I've got to get some pictures taken, get some more stuff done. And then I have a birthday party to go to. Bye.